We're shaking, folks. Back with another reaction. Back with some more arabesque. And we're back with more from the 1980s. Or the 1980s. 1980s, specifically. And this is another track that is not a specific release in, you know, Japan or Europe or elsewhere. Nevertheless, it is called Hey, What a Magic Night. So, it sounds like an identification, perhaps in the waning stages of, or perhaps even in the following day or days, um, that a night together with someone, because surely that's what we're talking about here, was a magic night. The way it came together, it was almost too good to be true. It was perfect. It was special. It was passionate. Um, perhaps it had a little bit of everything, you know, a bit of talking, a bit of laughing, a bit of loving. It feels like it could be, um, you know, a night for the ages, one that you remember for a long time afterward, no matter, you know, what else you do or who else you end up being with on a long-term basis. So I wonder if that is indeed the locus of this one thematically. Let's find out. This is Arabesque. The tune is Hey, What a Magic Night. And let me just check to make sure, because I did have the track listing open, because I said that it wasn't... Um, yeah, okay, it's just 1980. It's not, you know, Japan only or Europe only release like some of the others. Though it's not listed as a single either, it's just listed as, um, you know, a standard, like, album track. In any case, here we go, as I make my way back here with the cat brick on my lap that is Luca. Here we go, this is Arabesque, Hey What a Magic Night from 1980. It's like 50s style. night I have been waiting for. That's awesome. That's really fun. And 
is outside what I consider their wheelhouse, that sort of disco dance kind of flavor. Um, but I love that a lot. I'm a big fan of like old school rhythm and blues, which is in some ways sort of the the genre from which you know rock and roll emerged. Um, so you know whether we're talking like Fats Domino or the Coasters or you know Chuck Berry and so on. I'm a big fan of that old uh, style rock and roll with the you know, the guitars and the keyboards and the sax, so, um, yeah, really enjoyed that throwback style outside their typical sonic lane. Um, I'm gonna guess that was Sandra on the lead. It felt like it wasn't, um, it wasn't one of the voices that I heard in the Rouge, um, whatchamacallit, the Rouge, uh, Lucky Dip that I did, shout out to Shafiq. Now, who knows, I'll probably be wrong. And I think over the course of the track, we heard, you know, in the choruses, I think we heard multiple female voices. But I think the lead was Sandra. Let me know if I'm wrong. Um, but I really did enjoy this surprising throwback to like a late 50s kind of, you know, late rhythm and blues, well, original style rhythm and blues, early rock and roll type of track. Um, that again, it had me thinking Ray Charles with those like rapid fire keepers and yeah like lyrically I'm not quite sure but it sounds like it was sort of in the direction I was thinking like a night that you know any adjective you throw at it would be either insufficient or only part of the story so it sounds like a a pretty dramatic uh, occasion nevertheless I look forward to hearing people comment shout out to Luca who is like just ridiculous croissant cat at this point uh, when we come back the next time, I think it is a Europe-only release. Yeah, this one I just looked before the song. So the next one is Take Me, Don't Break Me, Europe-only release, 1980, and it is a single. So, yeah, we'll be back for... There's a few more um, before we get to 1981. Um, yeah, there's that one, High Life, Parties in a Penthouse, High High Highway, Roller Star, and then I Don't Want to Have Breakfast with You, which is a really funny statement because there's so much implied about the situation. It's like, so they spent the night together, but now it's soured since, you know, the passion of the night before. Well, I'll look forward to that one. But as I said, the next tune will be Take Me, Don't Break Me. So uh, once again, shout out to Shafiq for sharing everything as well as the track listing. Shout out to Luca for being ridiculous and adorable, and I will see you next time. Peace.